All right, how you doing? You know, this is our first full play. I spent a lot of time thinking about what game I wanted to full play and that kind of thing. I have a lot of games, but I wanted to do something that wasn't sandboxy. I wanted something that I hadn't played really all the way through. I like to. I wanted to do it blind. And I thought, fear. I started playing this when I first got it. I'll put it on moderate. But this is a game that tended to mix horror and shooter really well for me. I haven't finished it. I, I got about halfway through it, I think. And then I wandered off to something else, or I think my computer died. But First Encounter Assault Recon, because that's a name. But I thought it would be fun to do a full play and to take it all the way through. I don't know that I'm going to go all the way through all three games. That's that's a lot. But at least for the first game. Uh, because, uh, well, you'll see it scare the crap out of me. Because this game scares the crap out of me. Not like Bioshock scares me. Bioshock scares me at like an elementary level. Because Bioshock makes me claustrophobic. I'm just going to turn up my volume here. Uh, this, this game, it just... There's... You can never quite tell what's real. And things like like that really freak me out. So but and there's a, but it's also a decent shooter. I mean for its time. Which fear came out in I wanna say early two thousands. Something like that. Two thousand and three maybe. I'm totally just gonna look it up. My Google search immediately brings up uh, Fear 3. But, uh. Oh. And Wikipedia is just like, Fear, the game. Yay, or, or Fear, the thing. Yeah, 2005. Which, uh, I mean, like, for its time, it's a pretty good shooter. And the graphics are pretty decent. I'm not, I'm not super huge on graphics, but I enjoy them. I'm also not super huge on uh, enemies with body armor. But we'll work around it. And the music score for this is so good. I feel bad talking over it. It's just... It feels like an action movie. Well, except for the part where the dude is eating that scientist. That's probably abnormal. That's, yeah. Great. I don't remember anything yes. about this game. It's been two years since Sorry I played it. Sorry to wake it. you, Senator. It's about Origin. What happened? There was an uprising. Fettel has taken command of the prototypes. My god. We can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. I feel right, like right. this is a super soldier program gone wrong thing, which I feel is really interesting. This wacko's name is Paxton Fettel. He's the in the sense that we him, super we soldier programs the never go properly. Even Captain America is the result of a super soldier program gone wrong, in that there were supposed to be lots of him. What's his story? And he is like the best case scenario. They're working on a military contract to develop an army of clones that respond to a psychic commander. Top secret, of course. That's that's a great idea, the psychic commander. You gotta be fucking kidding me. How many psychic this commanders do you have? takes us seriously. Military clones? A full battalion of them. <laughs> highly trained <laughs> and heavily armed. A battalion? What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Like I said, we put Fettel well, down and we shoot them. Fortunately, the whole point the of the program face. is to give commanders first hand knowledge of the battlefield without putting them in danger. That means we should be able to corner the bastard without having to wade through all those soldiers. How do we find him? Army came and planted a transmitter in his head. Should lead us right to him. That's awfully convenient. Assuming it does what it's supposed to. What about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? Put can I not? Field? Oh, I totally can! Are you crazy? I have feet too. He just transferred in a week ago. Oh my god! You've seen his training results. I'm the new guy. His reflexes are totally off the charts. <laughs> I think he can handle himself. I am the red shirt. Man, That's awesome. Call. Goddamn right it is. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, can I get Let's some? Roll. I should get some subtitles. 
Once I once I get out, I'll see if I can get some subtitles. Actually, why don't I see if I can do that right now? Game subtitles on. Yeah, the cro the crosshair options in this. So so detailed. Like, why? Like, this is a game that where people care deeply about their their crosshairs. I remember Max Payne had that same thing though, so maybe it's just a sign of the times. And you could have like six different kinds of crosshair in Max Payne. Oh, man. And they they are they're from around the same time, I guess. Max Payne's I think a little earlier. But it's the same kind of thing. It's got a bullet time mechanic. And building just up ahead. Worst subtitles ever. Jed Kowski, you in position? All right, move it out. Seriously, guys, I realize that you're not designed to run in like 1080 resolution, but worst subtitles ever. All right, do I have? I have a pistol. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot the boards. Um, but we apparently suck at breaking boards. Ha! There we go. Alright. At least this isn't like pre tutorials. And bullet time is control. Yeah, the, I remember the bullet time in this being just totally out of hand. There's a rat. Oh dear. Mix for my flashlight. That's awesome. F to open. Or I could just knock the door over. Hey bro, what took you so long? Try to find a way around. Oh, hey. There's my friend. I'm like, what what's that? Yeah, this is from like the early early era of, of objects with physics. So you can like knock things over and knock things around and Um, but it isn't a scavenging game, if I recall. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Health boosters permanently increase my health by a small amount. That's cool. Alright. I don't remember if there's sneaking. That's the thing, is I usually try and sneak in these games. So I can get the drop on it. On enemies? <laughs> God. Maybe the worst of this. Okay, that definitely a hallucination. I can't hear you. I'm not listening. I am You shut the door and did you see a guy on the other side of that? See, and that's the thing. Like, I think by the by the time I I got as far as I had in the game, I developed some kind of heuristic for telling what was a hallucination and what wasn't. But I I don't have that anymore. So I just can't tell. And even then it didn't work because sometimes I would walk into something thinking it was a hallucination and still die. Hold on a sec. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. You ready? Yeah. Um Did my friend just disintegrate? Steve? Steve! Um... Steve? He was right here! Oh my god, Steve! What happened? Oh! I'm coming! I guess... For you... Oh, hey, a guy! A dead guy. Steve? I'm all alone. 
don't like this. My god, what the hell? No? What do I do? It's gotta have some of the oh there's stairs. There's stairs past the sky. Oh we need you up here. Okay, Steve, oh, Steve, you're okay. Oh man, thanks so Thank God. Just don't leave me alone here. It's scary. Not crying. I'll wait here for Jin. You take a look around. <laughs> no, what? No! Steve, you have an assault rifle! The submachine gun. But still, you Steve! You know all this body armor. Well, I guess I have body armor too. You gonna check the place out here? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Steve. Steve! Steve, there are guys at the top of the stairs. Let's see, oh, I I love this game. It's spooky. Cause I think the later games moved into that sort of jump scare, like the like Doom Three style. Oh, monsters! And but this one is just like it makes you apprehensive in a really interesting way. I don't know when the shooting starts. Oh. Oh, that guy just hit me with a board. I shot him, though. I shot you. His name is Charles Haberger. I remember him. But our memories, mine, or hers. Translation. I am a psychic and a cannibal. Great. Die. I don't really think I'm a senior. You hit me with a board! Come in, over. What's going on? Dick. Rejoin your team. Alright. Yes. Yes, we do. He hit me with a board! Was that the board? That's huge! Or did he take it with him? Alright, I guess I should go back down and meet up with Steve. I don't actually know his real name. I didn't learn it. But yeah, this early physics object stuff is really good, I think, for... Um, like, like, horror games. I, I, I always remember... Uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Hey, back already? Which See was uh, there? Like, it was generally a crappy game. It was the first one of the first games to use the uh, source engine. Along. I'll be busy here for a while. But it it had this great haunted house sequence where you've got objects just floating around and flying around. It was right at the beginning of that kind of thing. As opposed to now, where you're like, if you can't pick up and shove around every little knickknack, you're like, why, why would I even bother playing this game? Especially if it's, you know, like Fallout or uh, Skyrim or things like that. Like, if I can't put buckets on people's heads, why would I bother? These right. men are from fear. They are special attachments to our unit they are, for the duration. They are from fear. What does that stand for? Something dumb. Just go with it. Our job is to keep them alive. They're elite and scary. Do not engage the enemy. I am... Remember that we are not dealing with ordinary bad guys. Team one will move in from the southwest. Team two will approach from the north. These guys are Once all going to die. Complete, we'll rendezvous and wait for further orders. Okay, let's saddle They up. don't even have names. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, now here's what you need to do. Don't get shot, and don't leave me by myself, because I am hallucinating. I dropped some serious acid right before this operation. Oh, I have a machine gun now, that's good. But yeah, seriously. Like, hardcore acid. So you guys need to understand that I might be in charge, but I'm gonna make some bad decisions on account of... Whoa, am I totally ridiculously high right now. 
when it saves the checkpoint, it does that. That's weird. It's probably because I am running this on a system that is really not optimized for it, in the sense that it is, like, the game has no idea how to deal with my controller. godly computer. Did I find the gate control yet? Is that what I'm looking for? On, I was just looking down, for okay? stuff. Oh, hey. See? Sometimes there's just stuff. The gate control, hey. I'm all nervous. Sometimes it's really predictable when you're gonna run into like actual shooty dudes. Uh, which I guess is my name for enemies, but sometimes I just can't tell. Yeah, I felt like that's the door that didn't open. Well, yeah! Otherwise, we would have just radioed that guy or phoned him or whatever, and he would have been like, Hey, buddy, let us in. He would have been like, Alright, guys, here you go. Gates open. Go on in and fight those terrorists for America. What? If you guys are all dead by the time I get back down here, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so mad. Leave you alone for five seconds, and you're all disintegrated. And uh, <sighs> by a creepy little girl. She was the one that killed me. I remember I remember the last time I played this, I ran into her, I think, for reals for the first time. And, okay, rendezvous with Jan Jankowski's team, who I assume is the guy I've been referring to as Steve. Now, there are no stealth weapons in this, but there is leaning, which is nice. That's creepy. I ran into her. And I thought, oh, well, she's there's no way she's real. She's a hallucination. She was not a hallucination. She killed me. Um, and then I think the game crashed and refused to continue working. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for having super loud stormtrooper radios like a bunch of dicks. Yeah, that is the oh, or you know, exploding barrels. I love how shooters shooters have taught us that to reload after every single shot. Yeah, the the control that you have. That was creepy. The control that you have over your bullet time in this is so fine tuned. Did you hear a radio? Stormtrooper radio, guys. There's only a thousand of these guys, right? I mean, I just shot two of them. That's like, we're getting there. But yeah, I love the fine tuning you have over the, the control you have over the bullet time. The downside, I think, is that it gives you too much control. In comparison to, to, to a, ga a game of a similar era, like Max Payne, where it was much more sort of artistic with its, bu with its bullet time. In this, you've got to 
you've just got so much control that it's easy to do that, you know, bullet time right when I'm aimed over their face, pump 10 rounds into their face, and then move on. I am staying crouched because, well, partly because I'm afraid. Uh, this guy apparently did not get one, his, his one phone call. Um, is that how that works? Do you get one phone call? I don't think that that was a super helpful thing to do. I keep, oh, I keep trying to bullet time or, or uncrouch with control for some reason. And the result is that I wind up going to bullet time. Take that, bucket! Nothing but net. Ooh, medkit. That seems useful. Okay. I feel like I do have to go out into this alley, though. Oh! How about I go over here? Yeah, it's definitely when it's auto-saving. I, I don't mind the auto-save, but... You guys should probably investigate. I'm just saying. You also usually travel in pairs. I remember that. Really? Am I that lucky? I don't believe it. I was going to say, also, this guy apparently wasn't armed. He was a pacifist. Really? You didn't just hear me shoot your friend? I was not expecting. Run and hide! Run and hide! Was it Zed? Yeah, Zed to use my med kits. Okay, good. Whew. I was pretty furious. That was a terrible mistake you just made, sir. I don't know what you were doing there, but... Whenever it was, it was not a very good idea. Oh, man. He's just like, oh, I wonder what's going on here. Oh, God! Bullets. There, now I have lots of bullets. Good. I'm going to use them to kill these guys and all their friends. But, yeah, I'm already up to, like, eight guys out of a thousand. I mean, that's, that's pretty decent. Okay, creepy. Creepy, but but probably probably not dangerous. This is Echo Six. We have not heard from Echoes One through Five. music's still going. And that tells me that there's still guys out here. Somewhere. That's the first aid kit. Give me the first aid kit. Good. Dear guys, give me your firearms. I need them for important. Oh god, grenades! Yeah! 
Grenades, press G to throw grenades. Oh, and body armor. Sweet. See, and that's the downside, is that my immediate response to basically every interaction with an enemy, so far, is go into bullet time, shoot them in the face. I mean, these guys have body armor, so they're pretty tough. But they ain't that tough. Is that a... No, that was, that was a fire extinguisher. That was not a... But I mean, that only cost me, like, what, 20 points of body armor, if that? And that was three dudes. Three dudes? Yeah, three dudes. I am seriously working my way through this thousand guys at a pretty decent rate. I could deplete this battalion probably by the end of the day. We're only going to go to the next checkpoint, but... Did you hear that? Because I definitely heard that. Oh, creepy lighting effects. Looks like a shotgun or something. It's totally not a shotgun. But there's an assault rifle in that room. Okay, I want to get into that room. First, yeah, I thought so. No, oh, dude, you're supposed to... Usually travel in pairs. You have a buddy system. I appreciate a buddy system. Yeah, I appreciate a good buddy system. I wish I had a buddy system. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Less scared now. On account of my assault rifle. Uh, I don't actually know how good this is, but it does probably does more damage and uh, kind of sort of has a better zoom, I guess. No, that's not a guy. It's a bullet hole. Like, is that a dude? No, this door doesn't open. Great. Okay. That door right there, I got a I got a really bad feeling about it. I'm gonna pick up this stuff. Why do these guys have pistols? But I'm gonna push I'm gonna pull this lever and though there's gonna be like six guys that come running out of that door. So here's my plan. I just it's that kind of door. Like, you just... I got a bad feeling. Sure enough! Not a great idea, guys. We'll actually leave it there for this week. Oh, man. Yeah, the point is, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this game. It scares the crap out of me. Um... I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. So let me know in the comments, and uh, be sure to subscribe for new uh, for new videos. We do gaming, we do music, we do vlogging, and all kinds of fun stuff. So join me next week for more fear or more Minecraft.